Hello, Thursday. Thursday the 27th and the moon still in Scorpio. Not Virgo, Gemma, but Scorpio. Okay, um, so I thought I really want to look for a different tarot deck. You know, I've gone to the back of the tarot cupboard, but you know, it was too far gone to actually find anything. There needs to be a, a route around, a clear out and a reorganization. I know, of the tarot cupboard. So I went that away um, and I found a deck. I have absolutely no idea when I got it, how it works, where it's from. I wonder if I've even used it before. So weird. So if any of you can identify this deck, please do. I don't think it's got anything. No, there's no like identifiers written on it, like author, I've got no box obviously, um, and no date or anything. I know. It's brilliant, isn't it? Here we go. It's Thursday and already we're using unidentified random tarot decks. Where will it end? Oof. Okay. I think they're all animals as well. I don't know what that is. You know what I'm like at identifying animals. Might need your help a little bit with these. Ooh, well, that's horrible. I think that might be a pigeon. So far, I can identify two of them. Maybe that one, sort of. Oh, hang on. Oh, God. Okay, Oof. it's not what we all thought it was. I think I might, maybe, no, yes, I know what that is. Yes. Okay. Good. First off, Four of Cups. And again, let me know if you recognise this deck. Four of Cups, that's an octopus, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I may not get the day right, I might not get most of the other bits right, and generally I don't get the animals right, but this time I think that's an octopus because it's got tentacles and I watched my octopus teacher, which makes me qualified. Right, Four of Cups, so a feeling of, I don't think it's ennui, sometimes the, the Four of Cups can be ennui, you know when you've got the... Um, young man usually and they're under a tree and you've got the cosmic hand and they're offering them a cup and they're like oh, god haven't you got any red bull i only drink monster i know i remember the boy um and you're like oh god they've got that sort of sense of ennui or disdain i don't get that sometimes with the four of cups you get like a feeling of emotional neutral um that you're that you're kind of neither now nor summit, but you are in the middle and you're sort of in zero gear and you've opted for neither this nor that. It's not anything, you know, it's kind of zero. It's not minus, it's not plus. So I'm liking that. It's a sense of emotional equilibrium, not the most exciting. You know, it's not thrills and spills, but it's just, hmm, okay. And then the other card we have, yeah, I think that's a beaver, as the actress said to the bishop. I could be wrong, but I think it is. Um, and we've got the pentacles, knight of pentacles. When you put that together with the four, you get stability, just loads and loads of stability across the board, a desire to have things stable, a desire to have things so, it's like, hmm, okay, good. Really hope the sun isn't going to come out because then I've got to go and put the curtain behind the camera. It's starting to show a little sign of itself. Stay there, sun. Okay, then we get, yeah, here we go. There's the sun. Hang on. That's better. A little bit dull, but all the same. Just do that bit. Of course, it's gone now as soon as I did that. Very technical here at Gemstone Tarot. We get the Hierophant. We've got the keys, which you often get. This is a polar bear. <laughs> I think you'll find. I think you'll find this is a polar bear, actually. Thank you. 
Um, the Hierophant is the High Priest or the Hierophant or the Guru. There's some kind of appeal to higher learning here. And it could be through a friend, it could be through a book, it could be through a YouTube video, a TikTok, however we get our knowledge these days. It's a little bit ecumenical, it's not the same as it used to be. You know, we used to be, well, as time has gone on, I think that um, knowledge has become more widespread, hasn't it? Whether we do any good with it or not, I don't know. But back in the day, you know, like in the church, for example, because we're looking at the high priest, I think everything was like in Latin or Greek, wasn't it? And therefore the normal people couldn't read it. And that, that's an elitism of sorts. So there's a sense here in which we can acquire something, some knowledge, some fact, some therapy, some something. And then we get the world, and I'm really, really confused as to what that is. In the comments section, please, anybody, what's that? Is it a blowfish? I really don't know what that is. It looks like it might be, you know, in the sky, but maybe it's in the ocean. I don't know. I give up on it. But it is the world. Maybe it's the world in a really strange diagram. Anywho, it's large cycle. Large cycle of things. Swing like that. And then next to it, which kind of goes with it actually in a minor arcana kind of a way and really not good for the old street pigeons here. Yeah, yuck. Although beautiful sky. Um, Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords is a very cathartic card. And that world that looks like a God knows what is kind of pointing, everything is pointing towards the full moon, which is on the first, okay? I don't know why it's in Aquarius. Yeah. I wonder if there's anything, I've got this by the way. Sometimes I use a Susan Miller calendar. I can highly recommend this, it's absolutely fantastic. So sometimes when the moon diary isn't enough, I have a looky-see on here. So we're looking, oh yes. Yes, I thought something was going on. Let me just pop my readers on and read it to you, sweet people. Mercury conjunct Venus retrograde, 28 degrees of Leo. You will be at your charming, gracious and attractive best. Woohoo! <laughs> You may want to experience some luxury over the weekend or plan some kind of getaway or go for a spa. Nice. Okay, that sounds rather nice. Doesn't look at all like the Ten of Swords. But we do have... Oh, I'm not showing you the cards, am I? Hang on. Weekend's looking good, folks. Get those spas booked out. Oh, God almighty, what am I showing you? Practically showing you under the bed. Okay, we have after that the Page of Wands and also the Five of Wands. Now, I think that that is a salamander because that normally is what you get on tarot cards when it comes to the fire sign type stuff. Um, five of Wands, I don't know what that is, I'm afraid. Um, anybody who wants to let me know what that is that's been cornered by these wands, no idea what that is. Now, Page of Wands and the Five of Wands, again, we've got this Leo energy knocking around, haven't we? We're in Leo season. It is quite a sexy season, Leo season. Um, and Page of Wands is urges and things that are passionate and sudden and quick and not always that well thought out, but they don't really have to be. And then the Five of Wands is slight confusion and crossover with communication with people. So let's draw this together because this is a bit of a, what do they call it, eclectic sort of a reading. Right, you have the Four of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles, a solid emotional base from which to work from. Yep, and then we have the Hierophant, needing some higher learning, some kind of... You know, it could be a friend saying it to you, it could be a guru, it could be anybody who's coming to you with some information that's going to help you get through a cycle. Do you remember when we got, and it might have been yesterday or the day before, we had the devil in reverse and there was a lot of coming up to the full moon, releasing. That's my releasing. Releasing. Swing. 
Think about what you were trying to achieve in the new moon in Cancer and then think about what you're trying to release to achieve that now, okay? And with the Page of Wands, you will have um, Kundalini energy, you will have Leo spirit and you will have the ability to make that happen. But expect some cross wires, okay? Just do, expect some cross wires. Right, I'm looking for some Oracle cards. Now then, oh, let's have those. Now these are, oh God, I really do need to go through the tarot cupboard because this, this is a person who does Whispers of Love Oracle and I can't remember her name. Is it Angela something? Anywho, it's them. If you can find Whispers of Love, it's like whis Whispers of Other Things. Whispers of Other Things Oracle. Peacock. Woohoo! This is obviously for that steamy weekend that Susan Miller was talking about. Re oh God. It's a disaster today, isn't it? It's the wrong camera at the wrong time. Probably find out I've given you the wrong date, the wrong moon, the whole bit. <sighs> right, let's do the other camera just to make it easy. Of course, the sun went straight away as well. Like it does. Peacock. Love it. Raise your standards. For the weekend okay that's a beautiful card isn't it leave me a comment if you can identify any of the animals and i will see you tomorrow namaste